All right, guys, chapter eight, section two, factoring using the distributive property. We have used the distributive property to multiply before. So we have had something like this, 9y times 3y plus 2. 3y plus 2? Yeah, that's what I want to do, 3y plus 2. We know we can take this property and multiply everything on the outside by everything on the inside which will give us 27y squared plus 18y. Okay, our goal today is to go the other direction. How do I get 27y squared plus 18y? And how do I make it look like the term that we started with. Okay. So what I'm going to want to do is, uh, let me clean this up a little bit. I'm going to want to find the greatest common factors for both of these. So let's look at the 27 and the 18. When we think of numbers that go into 27, we've got 1, 3, um, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 27. When I think of numbers that go into 18, I've got 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. So I want to pick the number that is greatest in that list. And obviously that is my 9. So I'm going to start with my 9 on the outside of the parentheses. Now, 27 has y squared, and 18 has y. So how many y's do they have in common? Okay, They each have one y in common. So I'm going to put that on the outside of my parentheses. So now I've factored out all of the common factors. So now I'm going to work my, yikes, try to work my parentheses. Okay, so 9y times what is 27y squared? Well, 9 times what is 27? That's going to give us 3. And y times what is y squared? And that's a single y. Then I bring over my plus sign. Now I say 9y times what is 18y? Well, 9 times 2 is 18, and y times 1 is y, but we're not going to need to put that in there. So now we are right back where we started. 9y times 3y plus 2. Factor out greatest common factors. Now, this is the long way. The next example... Um, we'll, I'll kind of talk you through it. It's a little bit shorter. So let's take something like, um, let's take 16x squared uh, minus 12x. All right, and let's factor that out. So I know I'm going to have something inside a parentheses, so I'm going to go ahead and set up a parentheses over here. I know I'm going to have something on the outside of the parentheses. So what's the biggest number that goes into 16 and into 12? Okay, biggest number that goes into 16 and into 12. That's going to give me 4. And then how many x's do they share? Um, 16 has x squared and negative 12 has x, so they just share 1. So I know my common factor is 4x. Now, 4x times what? is 16x squared. 4 times 4 is 16. x times x is x squared. So 4x times 4x is 16x squared. Bring over my minus sign. And then 4x times what is 12x? And that's just going to give me 3. Now take just a second and do the distributive property and make sure you come up with the correct answer. There we go. 
Okay, so that's the first kind. Now we've got some um, that's called factored by factoring by grouping. All right, so this is going to be grouping. Okay, so this is going to be example number two on page 477. I've got 4QR plus 8R, excuse me just a minute. Okay, plus 3Q and then plus 6. Now, what you will notice is all four of these don't have something in common. Okay, our, our problem before, both of them had common factors. These don't. So we're going to group things together that have common factors. So I'm going to put my 4QR and my 8R, because I see they're going to have a common factor of 4, and they also have an R. And then I'm going to put my 3Q and my 6 together, because I see that 3 and 6, I can get a greatest common factor out of that. So let's look at the first one. What's the greatest common factor between 4 and 8? And that's going to give me 4. And then what variable do they both share? That's going to give me an R. So now I set my parentheses. 4R times what is 4QR? That's where my Q comes in. And 4R times what is 8R? And that's Q plus 2. <clears throat> All right, and then I bring down my plus sign. Now, what's the common factor between 3 and 6? That's going to be 3. And they don't both have variables, so now I need to start my parentheses. 3 times what is 3Q? That's going to be Q. And then 3 times what is 6? That's going to be 2. Excuse me just a moment. It's a busy day. Sorry about that. And so I'm going to end that parentheses. Now, what do you see? These are the same thing. I'm going to scroll this just a little bit. Okay, when I have the same factor, I don't list it twice. So one of my factors is Q plus 2. So now that's gone and that's gone. Now I can't ignore the 4R and the plus 3. Because they're on the outside of the parentheses, I combine them to just 4R plus 3. And those are my two greatest common factors. Again, that is factoring by grouping. All right, about eight minutes on that one. And uh, we'll see you in the morning.